TikTok is taking the world by storm with over 1 billion annual users. Some people manage to find fame and fortune on the platform. Others manage to embarrass and cancel themselves. So today, let's take a look at some celebrities who should just stay off of TikTok once and for all. Starting off this countdown, we have Olly Murs. Singer-songwriter Olly Murs should have been off of TikTok years ago following a very controversial video that he posted. In the video, he cut the bottom off of a Pringles can so that it was removed completely. He then proceeded proceeded to slip it onto his, you know, eggplant and then asked his girlfriend if she wanted some chips. When she reaches in, well, you can only imagine what she felt and she pulled out her hand in disgust. I think this video scarred everyone. One person tweeted out saying, not even 9am and Ollie Murs has ruined my day. Never checking why a celeb is trending again. Other people commented saying that they are scarred for life and that they need help unseeing that video. And I agree. No, thank you. That was way too much. In our ninth spot today, we have Madonna. Recently, Madonna has been posting some weird TikToks that have left her fans confused and unsettled. The TikTok that received the most backlash was posted a couple of days ago, just before the 2022 Grammy Awards. In the TikTok, Madonna, who no longer looks like herself or her age, is shown coming closer and closer to the camera while pouting her lips. Now, it does appear as if she has a filter on because her eyes look completely gray or glazed over. The comments on this video showcase just how unsettled it made them feel. The top comment reads, This honestly scared me, not gonna lie. Another commented, Stay back. A third commented, It's becoming more than embarrassing at this point. Another, Who is this? Doesn't look like Madonna. Fans are concerned for Madonna, saying that she's trying too hard to seem youthful to the point that it's scaring them. Coming in at number eight, we have Northwest. Now, I'm sure you guys are all aware of the whole Kim Kardashian, Kanye West TikTok drama. If not, here's a little recap. Kanye West does not feel comfortable with his eight-year-old daughter on TikTok, whereas Kim said that she's completely fine with North being on TikTok as she supervises it. In response to Kanye calling her out, she said, and I quote, as the parent who is the main provider and caregiver for our children, I'm doing my best to protect our daughter while also allowing her to express her creativity in the medium that she wishes with adult supervision because it brings her happiness. Now, the TikTok account is labeled as North and Kim's account. It's a joint account. But still, some say that she's way too young to be on the platform. I mean, I believe you have to be 13 years or older in order to create an account. And like I said, North is only eight. Not only is TikTok fairly damaging for young influential minds, but also puts them at risk for predators. In our seventh spot today, we have Jake Paul. I guess Jake Paul is trying to relive the good old Vine day by having a TikTok account. Let me know in the comments below, are you team Vine or TikTok? Which platform do you like better? Honestly, I'm team Vine, sorry. Anyways, Jake has posted a number of interesting TikToks. The most recent one being him punching the Rockets mascot at an NBA game. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you're a fan of Jake Paul, but uh, his TikToks are questionable. Either it's him bragging about his boxing career or making cringy TikToks that aren't funny. However, it looks like he's got a lot of haters on his TikTok. They just want him off the platform for good. In our sixth spot, we have Tana Mojo, another very controversial content creator and influencer that people want off TikTok, especially after she posted a number of videos that featured herself eating some nasty food combination items like a hot pickle from a gas station in which she wrapped in a rainbow fruit roll up and then topped it off with a talkie. You got all the flavors there, spicy, sweet, and salty. I don't know how I feel about that combo though. I think probably be eating that in the bathroom. Anyways, she's also known to just post random crazy videos that make no sense like this one. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with Jason Derulo. <laughs> Jason Derulo's TikTok is filled with the most random videos. From him reacting to viral videos, to dance videos, to cooking videos, to raunchy comedy videos, to pranks. He does it all. I mean, I'm sure you've seen that viral video of him pretending to lose his teeth after eating a corn on the cob attached to a power drill. This dude is just exuding chaotic energy. And a lot of people love making fun of him for it. You either love or you hate his TikTok. But I will say, there's been a number of times he has embarrassed the heck out of himself on TikTok, but it doesn't seem like he cares one bit. In our fourth spot, we have Will Smith. Will Smith is currently trending following the incident at the Oscars in which he slapped Chris Rock. We've all seen the clip by now. It's been talked about by crazy, okay? Well, following that incident, people are super against Will. In fact, he has been losing, but then also gaining social media followers. But the TikToks Will has posted in the past no longer look good on him, especially ones featuring his wife Jada and him 
simping over her, as people like to call it. People are arguing that Will's actions at the Oscars highlight toxic masculinity. Will made it seem like the slap was done out of his love for Jada, but still, violence in any form is not okay. So people think Will should be banned from TikTok, or at least have some of his TikToks that don't paint a good picture of him removed or privated. In our third spot today, we have Howie Mandel. What's worse than that Madonna video? Howie Mandel reacting to the Madonna video. We see the video of Madonna playing in the background with the mini Howie in front reacting to it. As Madonna's lips come closer to Howie, he says, oh stop, that tickles. Okay, Elmo, settle down. It's pretty unsettling. And he has a lot of unsettling videos. Like the video of him stitching himself with a video of Doja Cat. They're both just too close for comfort, you know? And of course, how could I not mention the frozen yogurt TikTok, where we see a woman eating frozen yogurt off of Howie's bald head. Okay, that's enough for anyone to lose their appetite. In our second spot today, we have Bella Thorne. Over the years, Bella Thorne has completely changed. She went from being an innocent Disney star to posting exclusive content to creating and directing a movie, which no shame on her. She's just coming to terms with herself and who she wants to be. Now, Bella also just posts the most random TikToks, a lot with other adult content creators. In the videos, you can see them getting into intimate and touchy. But then you have random videos like this, where Bella is using her own song as the audio and uh, the ending takes an interesting turn, to say the least. A lot of comments are saying that she needs to calm down and that her TikToks are messy and that she's trying too hard. And in our number one spot today, we have James Charles. First off, James is making headlines again as he was seen attending the 2022 Grammys. People are outraged that he was invited due to his controversial past and accusations of grooming multiple underage boys. People were tweeting saying things like this, and I quote, James Charles being at the Grammys this year tells me everything I need to know about their invitations. Another person expressed their confusion over a literal predator being there instead of artists like Ariana Grande. Day. Those were their words. Anyways, people are coming for James and they want legal actions to be taken against him. One person commented, how is James going everywhere but jail? So you can imagine why people want him off of TikTok. Not just for his past, but also because they say his TikToks are cringy. Literally, James gets hate on every TikTok he shares, saying that they are absolutely horrendous and making fun of his dancing. Others argue that TikTok is another platform that lets him reach out to underage boys. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below, do you have TikTok? If so, which celebrity do you think should be off of it? Was there one that I forgot to mention and put on today's list? Let me know in the comments below. With that being said, while you're down there, make sure to hit that like button, obviously, subscribe to our channel. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.